Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. And uh, before I start with introducing myself, let's just say it's episode number 495. And the topic today is the love revolution has begun. And uh, I'll explain what that is briefly in a moment. Before I start, let me introduce myself formally. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, um, soon to be twice over, and I'll get to that in a second too. Um, speaker and relationship attraction expert, I can remember my script. And I do these talks every day, actually before I do that, I say, I'm a passionate champion of the divine feminine, which inspires the talks I do every day called Messages from the Masculine to inspire the feminine heart, or inspire your feminine heart. This is episode 495, as I mentioned, and today's topic is, um, I'm very biased about. <laughs> and the title, today, the title of the topic today is The Love Revolution Has Begun. So without further ado, um, I'm actually going to show you the old one. This, this is this is what I'm talking about, the love revolution. Sorry, do the way so the light catches it better. There you go. This, this is actually the old one. The new one looks, looks even better because I designed it and, and made it work. Yes, I'm very invested and biased about this. Um, but I want to talk about this because of what it's about. The love revolution, from my point of view, is a wake-up call to the planet. It's a wake-up call for all of us, all of us, that means you as well, to be part of the solution that we've been avoiding for a long time. The book itself is 26 different authors, including myself. Um, So 26 different perspectives and flavors about love and relationships and love and work and love and health and love and challenges and love and family. It's love and everything. That's why it's called Love Revolution or it's part of why it's called Love Revolution. It's also about, frankly, one of the biggest things I get in this book for me as an observer as I go through editing the book, I've read all the chapters and all, the, and all the contributors. And the one thing that comes up most of all for me is self-responsibility and self-love. The biggest pieces that I think we miss in the culture we live in, including relationships, is we don't do that. We put all our um, responsibility on the other person, whether that's romantic relationships, whether it's jobs and employment, whether it's our political leaders. We keep putting responsibility out there. The revolution, I believe, is taking our power back and putting it inside. So, love revolution is not just um, changing how we relate to each other, which well, it is. It is how we change or relate to each other. Because I'm speaking about how we take our ownership back and how we live our lives from full autonomy and full responsibility. Because it's so tempting to live in the old paradigm where we put our um, needs fulfillment on other people. We make them responsible for our feeling good. Again, whether it's our, spirit, uh, our, bu- our business leaders, our spiritual leaders, our political leaders, or our, our, our ex-partners, even. That paradigm doesn't work anymore. It never did work, really. But we didn't know, we, most of us didn't know there was anything different. It took me a few years to learn this one, so I'm sharing my knowledge now, not a little bit belatedly. But the recognition is that for us as individuals, taking responsibility for our own lives, for quite a few people is an almost um, unfathomable experience. They've never done it before. Now I'm grateful I'm in a way that I went through, I went through in my life to actually leave home and travel, around, travel in other countries and, live, and move to the United States and do a lot of things on my own, which a lot of people look at me and go, wow, how'd you do that? And the truth is I don't know if I really knew how I did that. I just did it, it was what was in front of me. But what I recognize a lot of people do is they, um, they exchange the protection of their parents when they're growing up to protection of a partner, or protection of a job, or protection of a school, or protection of a political leader. We put our, our, our protection in other people's hands, which is an extremely weak place to play. One of the reasons I talk about this is because I'm very, um, <laughs> I'm very studied in and also very aware of how to fix and change codependence. Codependence is a term that has been around for a long time. In fact, one of my favorite books about it, written by Gay and Katie Hendricks, is called Conscious Loving, and that speaks directly to how codependence works its way negatively in our lives and how we can change the paradigm. But in a nutshell, codependence, for me, is the place where we play where we want other people to do things for us, either subconsciously, by default, or even manipulative, manipulating. We do other all sorts of ways. But true codependence is where we are living in a place where we can't do anything ourselves. It's always somebody else's fault, responsibility, or um, requirement to do something. And the problem with that is, it isn't, (laughs) to put it simply. The responsibility for 
your own self-esteem, your own self-care, your own responsibility for being yourself is on you, not on somebody else. Now, maybe you lived under a, in a house where your parents were so protective, you never knew, needed anything, you never did anything for yourself. That's possible. Most of us didn't have that luxury. Some of us were taught very young by our parents to take care of ourselves. Yes, we, yes, they didn't kick us out when we were 10. However, they were encouraging us to have some responsibility for our own lives. And I'm grateful for that education. It was done with love. It was done intentionally. And I watched, even though my parents' relationship was still codependent, they didn't visit that, they didn't visit that on me or my brother. It's not that I'm aware of. However, <laughs> just speaking about my own journey here, I did notice in my relationships early on, I was falling into that codependent trap. Not because they, my parents didn't teach me the right way, but they modeled the other way. And this is the, this is the thing I've talked about before in relationships, that we tend to copy and mimic that, we learn, that which we learn from our parents. And usually not by what they say, but what they do. And I now look, I see a stark contrast. What my parents raised my brother and I to be was independent, but what they modeled for us was codependence. And so my relationship patterns came from what they did, not from what I heard. That's a little teaching for you, by the way, on the side. So getting back to the book. So again, this is this is the this is what the cover looks like. Um, the type it's a little different. I've changed a few things around the book, but the, but the logo is the same. And and just so you know, this is not the right publisher. We've got a much better publisher now, which is another thing I'm going to tell you about. One of the benefits of being involved in making this book happen was that my friend, who's who's the lead in this book, and I had a conversation a couple of weeks ago because we wanted to do this book right, and we knew. We needed to have it published in a way under some sort of brand or label to identify it as something that we had investment in. And that became the creation of a new business which she and I are partners in now called Bella Mia Publishing. And we, had, we launched it with this book. So that when the new book comes out, it has a new logo on it. And I'll share that with you when I have a copy myself. Um, I will put the link in the comments of the actual Amazon link when you go buy the book because it's available today, literally today. It actually got released about five hours ago, four hours ago. But then I'll say, the different authors in the book and as I, said, as I said at the beginning, all have different perspectives. There, there's 26 different chapters, and each chapter is a different flavor on relationships, on health, business, spiritual practice, self, relationship with self, um, parent relationships, children relationships. All of these things are in the book. So there's resource there for you, no matter what you're going through or what you're challenged by. So I recommend the book for that purpose. But again, as I said, one of the biggest values in the book for me is the common thread that we come back to is about self-responsibility and self-love. And if you take that away from the book alone, your life will be changed in dramatic ways that will be absolutely, um, what's the word looking for? Transformational? Oh yes, a revolution. <laughs> so a um, couple of things I wanna say quickly on this. As part of my work, what happens happened a lot with my clients is they've asked me to do certain things to help them be more effective in their life. And one of the things that keeps coming up a lot in my conversations, which is also in the book, because I've offered, a, I've offered a deal in the book, is um, a, a, a guided meditation, so, a, sorry, a guided mirror meditation about self-love. It's actually two audio meditations plus a written meditation that will get you through the process. It's one of the most fundamental things that I think we can learn. When we learn how to love ourselves and we practice loving ourselves, we're absolutely going to, um, i say this another way. When we learn how to do so, give ourselves self-love, self -love, we turn off that spigot of needing love from other people so we don't feel codependent. Because self-love is one of, the, one of the, the antidotes to codependence, by the way. Because when we start, when we start loving ourselves and filling ourselves up and filling our own tank up from within, whatever happens out there in the world, whatever happens out there with people not giving what we wanted, we won't be as affected by it. We'll be actually be independent of that. So as simple as it sounds, the profundity, yes, that word profundity of self-love is underestimated by most people. So I created a program, or I should say I created a guided practice, which I recommend highly you check out, which is called, again, the, the guided, I have to remember the words, it's all in sequence. <laughs> The Guided Self-Love Mirror Meditation Practice. That's it, all the words. So I'll put the link in the comments, and if you want to know what it is verbally, you can check it out. It's barryselby.com, which is my website. barryselby.com forward slash self-love, one word. That's one of the things I've been offering my clients because this was part of what came through the book. When I was working on my chapter in the book, it became clear that what I've been talking about with my clients, I needed to put it in some sort of um, home study format. So in the book, there's an offer for it as well, but I want to make sure you know about it directly. So even before you get the book, you can get to it yourself. 
And the recommendation is you do this practice every day for 30 days. One of the things I've learned over years of this is anything you want to change, a habit you want to reinforce or reinform is most effective if you do it for more than 30 days. Actually, they say 21 to 25. I say 30 to be safe. If you do 30 days in a row of the same habit, the same practice, it will change your life completely. So choose something intentional, something positive, and something you can do easily every day for 30 days and watch how your life changes. Again, the self-love practice I recommend, I, I, I offer, has a reminder, several reminders, to do it for 30 days for that reason. Because if you start to build your practice of self-love over day after day after day for 30 days, at the end of 30 days, your relationship with yourself will be transformed. And your relationship with everybody else will be on a whole different level too, because your standards will rise to match where you really are. So that's one thing to talk about in the book, one thing to talk about in my programs. So I highly recommend you check the, both those things out. Again, the links will be in the comments. Um, the Amazon link is a, bit comp is a, a bunch of letters and numbers, so I'll put it in the comments. I can't tell you what it is verbally. Um, what I just want to say on this. There's more coming. This, this book is the beginning of something. Oh, yes. We're also, um, we've also got a giveaway. Yes, we have a giveaway. It's part of the book launch. We've got a, um, it's called, Love, in fact, if you can make it easy way. If you go to loverevolutionbook.com, you can check out the book itself. If you go to Love Revolution Giveaway, I think it's Revolution, yeah, loverevolutiongiveaway.com. You can get all the free gifts out there. We, a bunch of us have signed up, and there's a few more people that are in the book than are in the book are on the Love Revolution Giveaway. We can get signed up to get free gifts, um, downloads, access to products, stuff like that. So check it out because you want to be a part of the revolution because it's big and it's just starting. Today is the first day. The Love, Revolu Love Revolution has begun, which is what today's all about. Um, well, not just the only thing about today, but it's one of the things about today. So I think that was one I'll just drop the hints on. Um, I gave you a couple of teachings, some insights, some recommendations, some offerings, and showed you the book, even as the old version. Um, I think that's it. Reminders, reminders. Well, first of all, just a, a, a PS. This is Tuesday, um, doing this broadcast, and Tuesday has now become for me a double broadcast. I did my own broadcast at 5 p.m., and I'll be joining Gina uh, Hendricks at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time, so in about uh, just over an hour. So stay tuned. <laughs> That'll be a whole different conversation. Usually spontaneous, maybe a few questions based it, but it'll be a lot of fun and a very active dialogue. It'll probably go a bit longer because we get into it. So that's uh, Gina and Barry doing it live at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time on this, this, this page right here, on my personal page. Um, with that, oh yes, this is a Facebook Live, in case you hadn't realized that. If you're watching this on YouTube, it was a Facebook Live. Um, the replays get put onto YouTube and also onto my podcast. So to let you know how to find those, if you want to pick up my Facebook Lives on Facebook, you can go to my business page where they're more archivable, accessible more easily. And that's, that is my business page, which is barryselby.author. Secondly, you find them on my YouTube channel. They're easy to found, find and peruse there because they, they collect more easily together on YouTube, better than Facebook in that sense. And if you go to my use a channel which is Barry Selby and you go to the playlist which is Message for the Masculine you can check them all out there and that's also the name of my podcast Messages for the Masculine is a podcast on um, iTunes and you can subscribe sign up the, you can subscribe there and on my YouTube channel by the way and download for my podcast that's the audio format so you can listen to when you're driving or biking or running or walking or whatever you're doing and that I think is that yeah, I've got to get changed and get urgent. Well, I'm not going to change it anywhere like, go like this, but I'm going to get dressed, get ready, head over to my friends. Gina's get set up to do her talk over there. So with that, I thank you for watching. I appreciate you being me as always. Um, take care of yourself and check out what I'm talking about. It might just change your life. Whether it's the book, my offerings, or just the advice I've given you, it's worth changing your life for the better because you deserve it. And if you forget that, I'm here to remind you. With that, I'll see you again at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time this channel. Or if you don't catch me then, you'll see me tomorrow again at 5 p.m. Pacific time on this channel doing my usual daily broadcast, which will be number 496. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me as always. And I will see you again tomorrow. Excuse me. I'll see you again tonight and tomorrow. Take care. Bye.